Hi guys, I'm gonna make an extra video for ArconLexD.com. So sometimes people get into issues and now we say, did you take a look at the installation video? So this is the article that provides a ton of information and two options. Option one, select nothing in Calamaris and that's the video I'm gonna make because option two, select packages in Calamaris is already covered in here and that's called the advanced way of doing things. It's the easiest way because then you select whatever you want to have. Well, not easy. It requires knowledge, right? But um, let me also show you that the other ISOs are there as well. So the arconix.com in here will find also an installation video. This is then about Arconix XL, XS, 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 LTS, and all the Bs, it all applies to all the Bs, but even on the B website, right? You'll find videos that you say, okay, let's have a look at this thing and Wonderland. And you'll find also videos how to build it and sometimes beneath it, how to install it. You see? So there's many, many, many videos about installation things. And now I'm gonna make one, the four option one. And there are some things to keep in mind. That's for me the most fun thing, but maybe I should go back. It's not for the beginner. It is not for the beginner. And sometimes you see me tell people, don't do this. It's not yet for you. If you're beginning in Arconix, we have a phase, we study in phases. And Arconix D <laughs> is phase six, right? It's just before Arch Linux do the Arch way installing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a black screen command line, right? So it's just before that. You'll see if we go for an installation of Arclix D, it feels like the same thing. But we do get Calamaris, and that's something that Arch Linux does not provide, right? So I'm not going into the details here. You'll see the other video about all the possible choices. Basically, it's drivers, right? And video drivers, no nouveau and open source things. This is VirtualBox, so I'm not taking always line number one. So if you see over time, we've grown in these four, I think probably most almost five years, I don't know, not counting. And it was your question, right? We started with Arconix XL and that back then it contained XFC open box and I3, a combo. And then you said, we don't want that. We want something very, very minimal. This is it, guys. This is the very minimal thing. That's the base installation. The guys who remember Antergos, right? You had this base install installation, I think they called it as well. I'm not sure. But you ended up in something black. And it's up to you to do your stuff. So that's basically it. The other video is advanced installation. Base installation, is, it's nice. It's graphical, right? It's not arch and immediately in a black screen and type your stuff but you're dropped somewhere halfway into the installation you do have the keyboards as you see me type here and choose all kinds of things you can set kind of some of the options already in here now often this is my reflex and i want to you to be aware of this thing that this might give you problems the login automatically without asking for a password um probably always right because this system is booted up with sdm and has already a live user it's a live environment so the guy present here is not eric it's a live user just bear that in mind so next install install now and over it goes right and then you sit back and say oh enjoying the time that, that you don't have to put in to do pacman minus s base and, and the base development packages and nano and all the commands that we do in the next phase how to install arch linux with the arch way so let's wait for this installation to finish and there we are all done then we restart so remember this is the most difficult bit it's not a full-fledged desktop that you'll have well basically you don't have anything yet, 
right? There is no desktop. There is no display manager. You just have a pure Arch kind of thing. Let's have a, a look at how pure that is, right? So this is Arch, 618 packages. What do we have that is from us? Remove anything called Article X. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages. It's just the choice how Alacrity is gonna look. The system configuration is important, the welcome map, hey, and the grab theme, a little bit of nicety, uh, keyring, uh, duh, and mirror list, where are the packages? How is it signed? Keyring, right? Neofetch, again, a look at Paru, how Paru should do its work. A nice theme, as the simplicity git is there already, and systemd services, is there and an Arclinix wallpapers git. We can't dispense with wallpapers. So that's all it is and all the rest is, is Arch. Now, it is, as you see, a kind of black screen, right? Like Antarctica's base or like Arch, but we do have already some stuff on here. I mean, like a lot of stuff in here. The 800, so no, 618. All of these are already installed. So what you see is what you get. This is here. Now, what you need more is, for example, a desktop, XFC4, fine, or Mate, fine, or Cinnamon, fine, right? Let me maybe clear this thing so it's at the top, somewhere in the middle. So pseudo Pacman minus s i'm going for the installation of you choose xfc4 goodies remember again these are great packages thank god for these group packages otherwise i had to type let's see 15 plus 36 packages i had to type them all hand by hand and here we choose whether one to pulse audio or pipe wire jack so jack it is pulse audio it is so all these packages are coming from arch there's nothing in there that's from Arclinx at this point in time. And that's that. So now I have a desktop. I don't have a display manager. We recommend that you use SDM, but there is also LightDM, there is also LXDM, GDM, and Li. Five choices. If you install SDM, you have to be aware of the important files. If you, well, let's first enable it because installing a package does not mean that it's enabled, right? Any of the things I've just told you. So enable SEDM, GDM, LXDM. It's so easy, right? And, and a lie and so on. So in my case, SEDM. Watch out that you see this line. Created sim link and so on and so on. Yes, bingo. Now, before you do anything, and that's the thing, right? A little bit tricky, but it's all knowledge. That's all it is. N S E D M K. Let's maybe do it clear because this is important. I don't think I can make these videos bigger, not by a keystroke or anything. Um, so we have aliases because we know that it's important. Why go and type a long path if we can make an alias? So what it says here, and that's the trick to know, of course. It says user, live user. Duh, I'm not called live user, thank you very much. So this needs to go and has to become Eric. That's my login. Control X, yes, enter. Because of SDM, because of its being default and because how Calamaris is all, all fit together and works, right? It did not change the code because you never selected it. If you select SDM and install SDM, then Calamara says, oh, SDM is installed. I'll go change the live user. But now you've done a base installation. So that's just for the SDM guys. The other uh, references, GDM, LXDM, lie, is it's not installed. So no issue there. So that's a trick to know. And that's it. So, I do a sudo reboot or an SR or something like that. And that only happens, of course, if you did out the login, I think, right? No, no, it, I think it happens always because the file is there. 
You see, it's it's complex. It's all about chronologically, chronologically, what is he doing? What, when is he doing it? And uh, why is he doing it? It's it's programming, right? You have to think about so many things. And Calamaris says, SDM is not installed. Why should I change like you? So you go change it yourself. Voila. You have yourself an Arclix D, but you don't have a full system. And this, this is not working, right? You don't have sound, you don't have Bluetooth, you don't have printers. And that's why we say this, this is a growing, it's a learning path. This is phase six, I think, or seven, six, I think, right? So that means that you already have, or have been using Arclix for years, right? And then you try to figure out how does it all work? It's knowledge, it's packages, and you can build it up. And that's the fun. All right, enjoy.